Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is our site. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Thorne along with Bill Clement. We invite you to join us for this hockey match between the Penguins and the Carolina Hurricanes. Pittsburgh's up-tempo rush game is a delight to watch if you like offense, Bill. I, I got a feeling it's, it's not going to be as good as we expect and for one reason. They're playing against a trap team. To Orpik. Got that one into center ice out of the D zone. Nice pass. Big time effort. That's the offensive zone. Love save. Ward's goaltending is the difference on that play, Bill. That odd man rush should have resulted in something offensively, and it didn't. Well, Gary, I think goaltenders have the toughest jobs in all of sports, and this goalie is doing a nice job of his tonight. Sends that back. Two on two on the rush. Off to the side of the net. Not a very good angle. Shot off the rebound. What a chance to score, and he hit the crossbar to Skinner. Gets that one up near the point. Big shot. Under pressure. Digging in, trying to come away with that puck. He'll move it himself. Looking back to the point. Puts that one away on the long chance. To Crosby. To Kennedy. Quick shot. Good move by the goal. That one goes into his own net. I got a feeling he's not going to be buying any lottery tickets today. The Penguins' opportunity will give them that lead here only in the first period. They get the first one. Step in the right direction, but I think they're going to need more to win. Scores by number 48, Tyler Kennedy. Time of the goal, 8 minutes, 49 seconds. Got to get that puck free. Neal. Big wrist shot. That'll be deflected. Latang. LaRose is sight on that one right on the money. He read that and takes it away. Carries that puck into the zone. Goalie on his way to the bench. The extra man's coming out. Yeah, we've got a break here as we'll get a call. The Penguins are going to have to play this shorthanded. That whistle's for two minutes high sticking. Pittsburgh's opportunity to kill one off. Here it is. This is the first time they've had a chance to work tonight. Shot off the pad. Makes the save between his legs. Now here in the Berg, the fans love the Penguins. Let's see what they bring to the ice surface tonight for their people that'll cheer them on. Able to control that right at the point. Brought in on the offside. Over five minutes left to go. We're in the first period. Kennedy's goal could be the game winner. Pitkinen to LaRoe. Wrist shot on net. Fleury's got his glove on that one. We'll get a draw. Flurry was earmarked early, a number one pick by the Pittsburgh Penguins to be someone to turn a franchise around. And Gary, he was only the second goaltender drafted number one overall. In front, got the puck. Good coverage, he's got to move this puck. Cook. What a collision. Cook's body's got to be ringing right now, Bill. He's trying to get back. Well, he got thumped. I think right now he's running on instinct. Oh, he got some gas on that one. Save. Mercy. There's a big-time hit that's going to free that puck up again. Oh, there's a shot in goal-scoring area. The penalty killers have to think defense first, but once you get the puck, even if it's after a battle, think about scoring. Nice save by the goalie to stop this shorthanded chance. And, Gary, I'm not surprised at these boos at all. If these fans could get at this player, I think they'd jump him. Remember, he injured that guy earlier in the game. The Penguins now back at full strength. And the puck is touched off, and that'll draw the icing whistle. Loose puck, and he's got it. Big shot. You get them lined up, and you get a shot like that. Both of them got their licks in on that one. Really fierce on the forecheck. I mean, Chris Kunitz, the way he hits and as hard as he hits, he has to be feared if you're a D-man going back for the puck. Letang. Running out of time here in the first. Great deep move. Nice move with the goaltender position and gave him nothing to shoot at. To Skinner. In with speed. Good blocker save. 
Flurry's cover up there for the faceoff is one of the many times he's had to do that. No question, he has brought his A game to the ice surface for this tilt. Flurry's opportunity to make the save came because he never lost sight of where that puck had gone, Bill. You watch the eyes on this play. Oh, man, there is Jimungus, and then there are saves like this one. What a stop. I mean, he is in some kind of zone right now. And with that drop of the puck, we start the second period. With of the ice to Kunitz. Chance scores! That last goal has increased the lead. The question is whether or not they back off so much they don't maintain it. Well, I think it'll depend on this. Can the team with the lead be solid enough defensively to hold it? They don't need any more goals. right there and he's lost his stick to Jordan Stahl to Pitkinen to Skinner offensive rush three on two wow did he get rid of that in a hurry he picks up the loose puck puck move back up to the point chance he's in the offensive end quick shot from a long way out there's a little scrum going for you along the boards stick work pokes it away back to Skinner to Jordan Stahl, to Rutu. Two on two the other way. Quick shot. Oh, what a save. Martin. To Kunitz, to Malkin. It's returned to him, to Kunitz. Shoots, and he scores! And with that, there are three unanswered goals on the board. Well, with that goal, the increase now has become something This one, these guys are comfy. Score by number 14, Chris Kunitz. Oh, by number 71, Hank Malkin. And by number gets it along the point. LaRosa hits. I think he believes this may resurrect the team. And I don't think he should take his pedal off the metal. They'll keep the offense rolling here. He finds that loose puck to Dupuis. That scoring chance, not a good angle. Got the shot off near the side of the net. That one trickled just wide, and he didn't even get it all. No, and this guy is a good shooter. He'll be back for more. In behind the net, puck control. Good wrist shot. Save! Boy, there's a hit on the ice you're going to want to watch again. That's a tremendous collision. And with that whistle, an offside faceoff coming up. The value of Kunitz evidenced by the fact Pittsburgh, a team that they expect to do something uh, in the playoffs, went after him. Yeah, they should have gone after him. He's a good power forward. It's amazing that he was never drafted and that twice in his NHL career he was picked up off waivers. Closing in on time remaining here in the second. Up the wing to Nodal. The end of the corner, no lugging the puck here. Chris shot. He scores! And with that, that lead is down to two. Winger moves in to pick up that puck. Good tie-up in the face-off. And we're waiting on a penalty to be called. And we conclude two periods of play. Three to one at the end of two. Outstanding game so far. What we're going to ask is, can they maintain it? Yeah, good rhythm, good offense, some good defense. I mean, pick something. It is all in front of our eyes in this game. Here we go, period number three. Your team's proud exclusive banking partner. Pittsburgh penalty to number 24. McVeigh. Engelen. Power play still underway here as they pick it up in their own zone. Up through center ice with that pass out of the D zone. Grabs that in the slot. There's an offensive opportunity. Gotta love the PK guys. They're the underdogs when they're out there, but this time 
guy looked like he was the overdog. That snapshot's not going to go. Boy, did he make a nice play on that. Got to love the effort this goaltender's putting in, Gary. I mean, blocking pucks is his life, and he is living it right now. Kunitz. Sent in, feathered along the far side boards. To Corvo. To Jokinen. Two on two the other way. Gets rid of that in a hurry. Long way to go with it. To Kunitz. Kunitz, effort to clear, works there. That'll give his team a chance to take a breath. Nice work. Pittsburgh's penalty ends are back at full strength. To Jokinen. To Jokinen. To Bowman. Nice pass out of the defensive zone. Got all of that. Makes the pad save. Malkin to Martin. There he goes in behind the net. Boy, he wants to pass this to Kunitz. Has the loose puck. Ward's freezing up. The puck's going to give us an opportunity for a whistle and a draw here. Over six minutes gone by here in the third. Nodal spread his team to within two. Lot on it. Good chance in tight. No daylight on that one. Great save made. Rebound. Pads knock it away. To Noddle. To Sutter. To Latang. Cross ice to the other corner. To Glass. To Jeffrey. Picks it up in the offensive end. A lot of body slamming going on here. That puck up against the boards. Knocks it away. To Gleason. Rutu. Good play to hold that in the zone. Gleason. To Pitkinen. Turned over. Move that out from in front. To Skinner. Niskanen. Two on two on the rush. There's the shot. Kicked away with a blocker. Big battle along the boards. To Gleason. Dumps into the offensive zone. Third period close again on the final moments. To Orpik. To Niskanen. And there's the whistle on the icing call on the touch. Mercy has he been on tonight. These are unbelievable saves that he's made in this game. I don't think you can get any better than this. I mean, you want to talk about brick walls? Check out these replays. That one gets blocked. Good play defensively as he comes away with it. Gets the interception. Bad save. From down low, you've got to have some guts to do that. Stood right in front of that and blocked it. To Cook. To Kunitz. He's looking to pick up something on the point department. He's already got two, but with this tight game, he'd love to get another. McBain. To Rutu. On the charge. Three on two. Takes that shot from a long way out. We got it off quickly. 